Hello, and welcome to Avio's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business and sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. We've got a great show for you today. I'm going to be talking about branding, and I think I'm going to be talking about branding uh, also uh, going more in depth on my podcast as well as uh, on the on Avio's Journey blog, but I kind of want to talk to you today about what a brand is. All right, especially for voice actors, uh, why we need a brand, and I'm going to give you one uh, way to look at how to come up with your own brand. Okay, so let's dive right in. Uh, what is a brand? Okay, so a brand is uh, the idea behind it is anytime you think, for example, let's use me. All right, uh, anytime you think of a Vo's journey or you think of Anthony Pika, all right, hopefully some sort of idea comes to your mind, all right? Something that you feel uh, I stand for or I believe in or a feeling that I give you, all right? That is a brand. There is a recognition, right, of whether it's my face, whether it's a logo, whether it's the name of a company, a saying. It is a recognition of beliefs, of what something stands for, what something uh, is all about, okay? That's what a brand is, all right? And if you think about it, and again, using me as an example, all right, you know, I've thought long and hard about my brand and what type of brand that, you know, I want to have. But more importantly, you know, my brand, what does it stand for? What do I stand for? And, you know, I've gone long, I've thought long and hard about this, and I think, you know, part of what a VO's journey does or is, uh, especially if you're part of any of the groups or especially the Facebook group as well, you know that something that I believe in very strongly is showing kindness and support. And, you know, I be on, I'll be honest with you, it wasn't something that I started out with this master plan that I was going to brand myself around this idea, right? But in, the, in, the, in, in, the, in reality, it, it is what I believe in. So when I made, you know, started a VO's journey, the Facebook group and, you know, Fiverr Elite, as well as the mentorship program and the courses and everything that I offer, uh, as well as all of my voiceover services, it all revolves around respect and showing each other respect, showing each other kindness, uh, believing in one another, picking each other up, not putting each other down. And I think as I look at that now, I mean, that's who I am. That's that's how I've been. Um, trust me, I'm not a saint, <laughs> but I'm just saying that's what I that's what I believe in. And that's what I like for a VO's journey to stand for. And, you know. At the time when I was doing all this, I really didn't think about what was happening in all the other groups, just that I knew I had joined a couple and, you know, they, the ones that I had joined didn't seem very nice. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, you know, they're, they're just, there wasn't a lot of happy people or people seem to be very, um, not necessarily, now I, I'm not saying this about every group because I could, I couldn't possibly know, but some of the ones that I had joined were just not very accepting or, um, you know, there was a, there was very much of a, you know, you have to do X, Y, Z, or we're not accepting you kind of thing. And, uh, I didn't want my group to be like that, you know? So anyways, you know, that's what, a brand is, right? It's the recognition of your name, your business. It's a recognition by people that you stand for something or, you know, you are doing something different, right? And of course, there's different things. Now, why do you need a brand? Okay. Well, I think the very point I just made about recognition, I mean, let's face it, we are in such an ever-changing world right now. Things are happening so fast. I mean, you know, we, we with the pandemic, you know, we, we heard the announcement that Pfizer came out with, you know, they're, they're late in the third, I guess, in the uh, third phase of their trials, and it's over 90% or 90% uh, effective right now, which is incredible. So hopefully that holds up. But, you know, we, we've been living in this pandemic, and if the vaccine is successful, you know, sometime by mid next year, it could be a thing of the past. And all of a sudden, all of this craziness and this life change 
would be over. Of course, it might not happen that way, but you know that's what the hope is. But the reason I bring this up is the internet. Everything is changing so much and so fast. Websites are changing so fast. But if you build a brand, no matter what changes, your brand name will remain the same. It will help people find you. It will help people know, you know who you are, where you are, and what you stand for despite the changes that occur. This is so important for us, especially as voice actors and especially the voice actors who are working. Well, actually, you know, it's all voice actors, whether you're, you're SAG-AFTRA, whether you're a freelance, whether you are part of a studio, no matter what you're doing, it's important for us as voice actors to look at the idea that sites like, and let's be honest, sites like Fiverr and Upwork and stuff, they've changed. You know, there's so many things that are changing, right? But they've changed the world of voiceover forever. Whether you like them or not, it's true. And they're going to keep changing. We know artificial intelligence, AI, is, is another big change in the industry. That's going to change the industry as well. But what never changes if you build it successfully is your brand because it is a recognizable name that stands for something more than just a product. Does that make sense? You stand for something more. All right? Like I said, whether it's an idea, it's a belief, all right? that's why brands are so important because no matter what changes, your brand can stand the test of time because it means more. All right, so we talked about what a brand is, why you need a brand. Now let's talk about uh, one thing that uh, I'm going to be going into more depth, but for time constraints and everything, uh, you know, we, we can't do that here. But I want to talk about one of the main things uh, that you can focus on for building your brand, and that is fulfilling a need, okay, fulfilling a need or an unaddressed interest Okay, or need within the market. I told you that within Avio's journey and everything, I think at the time there was a lot, there was a lot of chaos, so many people flooding into the voiceover market, so many things happening, some really frustrated people with new things popping up and new websites and uh, you know, some bad, I think bad misinformation going around too about those websites and things. But anyways, the point is is there was a lot of frustration and anger and a lot of new people were really didn't have maybe a place to go where they felt welcomed. All right. And, you know, I think a VO's journey kind of stepped out on that limb and said, you know, hey, you're welcome here. And, you know, that's something that I hope, I hope that a VO's journey is for a lot of people. Um, but what, what does your brand fulfill? What need? What unaddressed interest does your brand fill? I mean, yes, I'm talking, um, Avio's journey is not just about voiceover work. I mean, it's not just about voiceover actors, right? We're talking about voiceover work. You know, the way I approach uh, my clients with communication, with understanding, with, you know, the way I approach people when they say I can't afford something, all right, the way I do something when, I, when, I'm, when I'm trying to deliver things on time, my follow-ups, Sending thank yous, using kind language, right? This is something that, I mean, if we, if we take, if there is any more of a wonderful look at how this could work, let's look at Chick-fil-A. I mean, you're talking about a place that sells chicken sandwiches. Yeah, are they good? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're good, but they're not, I mean, you, you know what I mean? Chicken, I mean, Chick-fil-A, their stuff is not the greatest thing in the world, but yet they've built an empire Honestly, when you think of Chick-fil-A, what do you think of? I mean, you think of their customer service. Not even, I mean, the food is, is good, but it's not, you know what I mean? It's not great. I mean, I can get good food in other fast food places. But Chick-fil-A, their customer service is completely unique and different from any other place. Yet, it is a fast food restaurant. So they took uh, something that was underserved. All right, a need or or something that was an interest that was not being served. All right, and they did it, and people flock to them. I mean, I mean, it's ridiculous how much business Chick Fil A does. You know, if you've seen it, 
I mean, you know, you you get if you're if you're if you're a fast food restaurant, and you get posted right next to Chick Fil A, man, you're screwed. <laughs> like, you know, if you know what I'm talking about, if you've seen them, right? We had a Burger King next to our Chick Fil A. They just went out of business. They can't. I mean, they just can't keep up. I mean, you know. So the the, the point I'm trying to make to you though is is for you, what can you do to address a need, an interest that's not being served in the voiceover market with clients? Do you know what I mean? Think about it. Stop for a second and think. Think about more than just what you have to do, you know, uh, to, you know, audition for something. You know, because remember, I, I th- this was my thought when I first started. And I, I will tell you, this is this is the absolute truth. When I first started, I firmly believed that I would never be able to get a job with Blizzard Entertainment or working for, you know, um, you know, Coke or some big company or or doing, you know, uh, national spots, you know, doing movie trailers, you know, for Warner Brothers or any of these big biz video, you know, massive video games or even doing something for, you know, Penguin Audio or, you know, um, Simon & Schuster, all these things. I, I never really thought that I could do that. But I wanted to. So my thought was that instead of me trying to um, chase after these places because there's no way they're going to pay attention to me. I'm going to run my own race and build something that they want to be a part of themselves. Do you see what I mean? So I kind of flipped it on its head and said, instead of me chasing what other people are doing, I'm going to do my own thing and I'm going to build it to where they're going to want to come to me. Because of what I believe in and because what a VO's journey stands for. Because I believe in the heart of all of us, right? There is good and there is kindness. Even though sometimes all of us can be pretty darn mean. But that's life. But there's that empathy there that's important for us to look at and to see. And that's, well, that's my that's my spiel. All right? So when you... Take a step back and say, okay, how do I brand myself? It's more than a logo. It's more than your your fancy schmancy name or colors or all that stuff. Yes, those things are important, just like everything else is important. But it's more about why you are doing this. Why does this matter to anyone? Okay, what does people, what do you want people to think about you? Here's 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 a good thing. What do you want people to say about you when you're not around? What do you want people to say about your business when when you're not around to hear it? If you can effectively, effectively communicate that over and over and over and over again in everything that you do and the content you put out and the voiceover work that you put out, your communications, your website, your emails, Um, your studio, whatever, if you can put that out, you will build a brand that no one will forget. And things happen like good things, right? People come to you. People are interested in working with you as opposed to you having to chase everyone else down. All right. So, I'm going to be doing some more of this. I'm going to uh, put out a podcast and we're going to go into about four or five other different ways that you can brand yourself. And I'm also going to uh, put up a blog post later on about it as well. But I think this is a good topic. You know, branding is so important today more than ever. More than ever, branding is so important. And uh, hopefully this video was very helpful to you. So thank you guys for watching. If you get a chance, please like and subscribe this video. Hit the bell notification. I believe it'll be, wait, I think it'll be over here. <laughs> you can subscribe if we're at the end of the video. Uh, also, real quick, uh, you know, we just launched a new marketing course, VoiceOver Marketing 101, How to Get Clients. It's a fantastic course. It's been doing really well, selling a lot of them. I'm, I'm really excited. It's helping a lot of people. And it's it's uh, I've put my heart and soul into that course and it's probably the best course I've ever made so there'll be a link below for that and you can also go check it out on avosjourney.com but thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate it and I will talk to you soon goodbye